welcome to E10 Extra, your weekly preview show giving you all things Orient. The O's have been in hot form recently, so we're going to be putting Hector Kiprianu and Jaden Sweeney against each other in a brand new challenge, Hot O's. Oh, oh no, the more you breathe. <laughs> we're also going to be sitting down and catching up with young O's defender Tunji Akinola. So I feel like we've done that well and give, given the strikers a good base to play off, but we need to keep doing it, like I said. But first, let's take a look at how the boys got in training today in a sunny Chigwell. been looking sharp today and one man who's certainly been looking sharp over the last few games is defender Tunji Akinola. Let's go and hear his thoughts ahead of a busy weekend. Cheers for joining us Tunji. It's been three wins on the bounce and a great performance against Oldham at home on Saturday. How have you found being involved in that run? Yeah I've enjoyed it. Um, we're on some good momentum now. The boys are playing well and they're feeling confident and it's shown in the last three games but um, we've done nothing yet you know we need to keep it up and there's a massive game coming on Friday and another one on Monday, so we need to carry on. For sure, and a, a big part of the last three games is how how tight the defensive has been. You've been involved in that right back, conceding only once in the last three. How important is that if, if we want to achieve what we want to achieve this season? Yeah, it's very important. I think for any team that wants success, you need to be defensively solid. The more clean sheets you keep, the more chance you give the attackers to score goals. So I feel like we've done that well and give, given the strikers a good base to play off, but we need to keep doing it, like I said. And and feels as though you're starting to find that familiarity with your defensive partners with Turley and Happy at the back putting a run of games together how are you finding that? Yeah enjoying it as well um, Tolls and Haps you know they played a lot of games at this level so I'm just soaking up the experience from both of them and they talk to me throughout the game and, and make it easier and we just feel yeah like we're, we're feeling solid now and yeah good unit. And looking a bit further up the pitch, your, your old friend Kempi has been getting himself involved in the goals and assists. Uh, how, how good is it to see him getting on the score sheet? Oh yeah, I'm buzzing for him. Um, I know the ability he's got, 
and I knew that when he signed here, you just need like maybe a short while just to get used to it. But once he gets in his stride, you know, he'll show whatever and what he can do. You know, he's a sharp player, gets goals and assists, and he's showing that now. And you've already touched on it, but a big Easter weekend coming up with two games, Mansfield and Walsall. Uh, I guess that maximum points is the target for you and the boys. Exactly, yeah. The more wins we can get, the more the more chance we have to push into the playoffs, you know. We've we've been we've been thinking about that you know throughout the season and, and now we're close but we need to keep good momentum in order to get into the playoffs, yeah. And finally, just looking back, we're obviously getting towards kind of the crunch time of the season, but how have you personally enjoyed kind of your first full season in men's football? Massively. Um, I've learned so much, you know. You can play 23s all you like, but when you come out into men's football, that's when you really learn the game. And I feel like I've, I've you know, I've done done myself a good, good justice. You know, I've picked up things from training, from games, just from talking to the boys. And I've got 25 appearances now in the league, which is more than I expected to get. So... Hopefully I can just use this as a platform to keep going in my career. So here we have it, the main event, the first ever Hot O's Challenge. We've got Jaden Sweeney taking on Hex Kiprianu. Uh, boys, we've got five levels of chilli sauce to get through, all the way from Frank's original, all the way to the bomb. So uh, how, how do you feel? How do you, uh, no, I'm excited. Feeling ready? Yeah, looking forward to it. Right then, well let's get started nice and easy with the first round. We've got ourselves Frank's original chilli sauce wings. Dig in, tuck in. Go on then. How, how do you boys normally choose your spice? What level do you normally go for? In and those. I'm very famous. Very famous. I like a medium. And that's the all buzz. Right, let's, let's see. Uh... Is that alright? That's yeah. alright. All good. A little kick. <laughs> Hey, you just got back from uh, from an international jeep with Cyprus. How, how was that? No, it was it was good. It's uh, always exciting when I go away. Um, no, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a bit. <laughs> uh, That's the first day tech. No, that was alright. That was alright. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, different style of football when I go away there uh, to what it is here. It's a lot more on the floor, um, but you know, it's always an honour to go to away, and it's proud for me and my family. I feel it's just Stop one bite. trying to be on this healthy, I'm a professional footballer. <laughs> protein, good protein. No, you've got to get through the whole wing. You've barely eaten that one. So up next, you've got the Nando's Vusa. So this one, is uh, they describe it as intense flavour, intense heat, African spirit. So, uh, don't know if you guys want to crack on, get stuck in. Are you feeling that one now? Nah, not feeling the bar. I'm trying to get prepared yeah, for this next day. <laughs> hey. Ready? Yeah, ready, mate. Wanna see you wanna see you go through the whole wing here? Whole wing. Like three and one though. I'm right in saying you boys both came through the uh, the O's Academy at the same time together. Yeah, how long have you boys known each other? Probably about four or five years now. Yeah. Say, yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Great journey. And what's the weirdest habit you've, you've got oh. of each other, do you know? Oh my god, Hector's got the worst superstitions I've ever met in my life. <laughs> he's got about, I'm saying, seven or eight superstitions that he's got to do before every game. Like what? Can you? So, I remember we, we, we played Newport the other day, mm. and we got party, and like, when he pulls on his socks, he has to stroke at the end of his toe three or four times before like, he puts his socks on. And then when he walks up the steps as well, so, like, when we're at home, mm. we'll be walking up the steps to warm up, that's the tap each step with his foot as he walks up. So yeah, just crazy just superstition. Is that, is that all correct? Is that all spot on? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, yeah, as, long as, are, pay, are, I mean, as long as he plays well, I don't mind. Yeah, it, listen, it's helped me along the way. Um, having my performances, so. It sounds like you're struggling to get your words out a little bit. How yeah, was that last one? No, sorry, I think the first one was hot, you know. Yeah, it was quite a nice, nice flavour. Yeah. Right, boys, round three, and we've got the Encona Carolina Reaper sauce. I think we're stepping up a little bit here, so if you want to crack in with the wings, and we've got some questions more on the squad for this round. <laughs> Pick a nice juicy one, a nice saucy one. 
So just a few questions on the squad while you're chewing down on that. Who would you uh, who would you say the funniest in the squad is? Oh, there's a few. Uh, there's a few. For me, Loz. Loz is up there, Lawrence. Dates. Goalkeeper, he's up there. Dates is Dates funny. funny. Um, Chuddy. Oh, Chuddy. Chuddy. He's naturally funny, that. Probably the funniest guy I've ever met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loz. He's got stories for days. Yeah, stories for days. Yeah, yeah funny guy. Yeah, no, I'd, say, I'd say them three up there. Matty, was pretty funny, but obviously he's coaching up. <laughs> this he? one. This one. Are you trying it out? No, no, I'm trying the third one. Really? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Whoa, this again. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> come on. Come on. No, bro. Chill. No, you gotta. Come on. That's enough. That's a lot. I don't want to touch your. Give it here, that ain't enough. That's a lot. No, that is a lot. No, I'll go for... I'll Someone's got to have, have that one. Have that one. No, no, I'm this no, one. No, that's a no, lot. No, 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 no. You've both got to rub it in the plate. Mate, that's you a lot. You've both got to rub it in the plate. <laughs> Look how much that is. Oh, come on. You said it was mild. You said it was the mildest so far. No, no, no I'll take that back. It's kind yeah, of hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep, keep munching then. Who would you say is the biggest fitness fanatic in the squad? Fitness? Yeah. Oh. Uh, gym. Yeah, who's, who's in the gym every day after training? Toes is a machine. Toes. Is a machine. You're uh, both just looking at your chicken wings at the moment, though. Oh, I need a breather. Come on. How's that heck? All right. Who do you say is the um, the cleverest in the squad? Then. Who do you want? Who, who do you want on your quiz team? Yeah, I say us two are up there. For real. Uh, um, Louis Dennis is a very knowledgeable guy. About on, on what? Oh no, Tunch. Tunch, Tunch, Tunch clever lad. But L D R, but like. I don't know, the way I'm he saying, speaks to you, like, he'll make you believe anything. Like, I'm saying Tunji. Very knowledgeable guy. You're going for Tunji, you're going for LD? Yeah. I would have him on my quiz team. For double, go back for a double dip then. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, I, I'm feeling that. Right. Who's, the, uh, who's the worst dressed in the in the ice camp then? <laughs> uh, for me... Cease, Cease has some very... Flashy pieces. I wouldn't say he's the worst, but he's got some very flashy pieces who are a bit controversial. Yeah. For me, I think it has to be dates. <laughs> has to be dates either me. Some of the pieces he's come out with. Heck no, we'll we'll heck no. I'm not saying anything. Are you not saying anything because you nah. don't want to or because the chili's battering you? A bit of both. Who's on their phone the most then in, in the oh, squad? Brendan who's oh, yeah. It's got to be Brent. Yeah, he's, on it he's working on the business though, isn't he? I don't yeah. know. Stop, stop talking about it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, Brendan Shabani. He's on his phone the most. Um... Are you sweating? Yeah, I started oh sweating. Oh my gosh. No way. No, my lips have gone a bit. Yeah, my, my mouth's burning now. And who's the biggest gamer in the squad then? Oh. We got a good view. Yeah. Nah. Um, What'd you play? I'm, I'm a Call of Duty player. Yeah. Me personally, I'm not too big into video games but no there's a few there's me brendan shabani uh louis dennis craig clay oh, actually there's a, there's a lot of fifa guys as well no, no, like ruel plays a lot of fifa yeah, i know Cease, lee sees ruel lee. who comes out on top they have a few tournaments uh i don't know lee claims it's him but actually it's a bit divided but i'm not too sure to be honest and who, who's the uh who's the dj in the dressing room then at the moment it's nick freeman yeah. Nick does a bit of uh, con jumps on a bit. Yeah. How, how do you rate your change, Freeman? Nah, it's good. It's got a bit of everything. It's got a bit of everything. A bit of everything. Some, some I like, some I don't like. Yeah, J J Juddy's a good DJ as well. Yeah. DJ MJ. Great, great, great DJ. Nice. Well, you said that was the mildest of the ones, so do you think we move no, on no, to no, round four? No, I'll take that back. That okay. Was, <laughs> Let's move on to round four and Let's get the next round of chicken wings in, Chef. So now we've got the Bullseye Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper again, but this one's got black garlic. And it says it's spicy, so let's no. get him. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there you are. So it's the same chili as the last time, but apparently a little bit hotter. So crack on, get involved. I think the milk might have to come out for this round. <sighs> it's like you're playing Jenga head. Taking out the bottom one, that's poor. Sweating already, man. Come on, swings. Right, and as we're at this round as well, we're going to give you a category um, each, one at a time. 
and you're in five seconds you've got to give us three things from that category so for example if i gave you sports in five seconds you have to go football rugby cricket okay but i'll let you eat your chicken wings for a little are you ready yeah i mean you got to ask for the milk when you want it when you want to bottle it first i'm going to the milk first do that yeah That looks like it had a bit more of a kick, Jaden. Yeah. That's hot straight away. Got some tongue. Nice. Right, I'll give you a couple of categories then. As I said, three in five seconds. We'll start with you, Hector. Can you give us three superheroes? Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Not bad. Not bad. Um, can you give us three American states? Washington, New York, Boston. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Hector, three musical instruments. Guitar, piano. Uh, flute. Not doing too bad. Got Should I dip a bit more? Yeah, I think so. I think you've got to go in for a bit of extra right. as well, Swings. Jaden, can you give us three board games? Chess, drafts, Scrabble. Not bad. Not bad. Heck, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hector, can you give us three League One teams? Uh, Portsmouth, Sunderland, uh, <laughs> None. Dip it. Okay. Oh, oh, is this the last one? Yeah. Oh no. On to the uh, fifth and final round, then, boys. How are you both feeling so far? How's the how's the lips? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to this one. Do you want to go for the milk yet, or are you gonna crack no, on I'm for good. the fifth and final? No, no. Yeah. Do you think you can hack it? Yeah, I think. You think you can hack it? Who, who do you think's gonna hack it better? So far, from what you've seen so far. I'm sweating already. Yeah, I'm sweating. But, but I'm in a bad way. Well, I mean, this hot, this sauce is so hot that we're just gonna dip the wings in it, right. all right? So just take a little dab, straight on the tongue, chew it, let's see how you get on. Who's going first? No, we'll be at the same time. Oh, I'm must, aren't I? Bit more than that, bit more than that. Like that? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Too much. yeah. Like, no, no, no. That's a good amount. Let, no, no. Let, let's let Swings get the same one. I did same banner. No, no, no. No, no. We gotta go at the same time. I think. That's right. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's enough. Should I take it off? I am not. No, 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 no. You got the same amount. I genuinely don't know if I got this. Bro. You've got, I've got this. more than Swings. No, no. Swings. You got to have a bit more Swings. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I have Oli. Can you have I've got the. No banner that. All right, so this is the big one. Who's going to bottle it and go for the milk first? Who can hack it? Can't leave your seat. No water. No water. Is who bottles it first? Who bottles it first? Go on the best, mate. How's it? No, I haven't hit me yet. <laughs> How, how's the flavour there, Hector? Talk us through it. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm getting like, some smoky flavour. Like. I think go go back for a bit more. You had enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Hector. What's going on? It's out the back of my throat at the moment. <laughs> okay. Wait, I feel like it's like a slow burner because. I but feel it, but I, don't know. I think you I should have a. Think you've done enough. I think I, I, I definitely. I don't think enough. you've done enough, Sweeney. You need more, bro. You know. So you had a bit of a dollop. Yeah, yeah, I think you need a bit more of a dollop, Sweeney. And while I'm we've got sorry, you, I am struggling though. Yeah, just another another double dip. What? Well, um, That's good, yeah. A bit more, a bit more. <laughs> Me, I've had so much more than you. No, I think Heck had more in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Go on. How how would you rate that out of the five, then, Hector? Well, it's just out of the back of my throat, like. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not even on my list, just... I've had that Is it is it a burner? I was, we were going to chat about the football in, in, a, in this round last few right. games, but I'm not sure we're going to get anything out. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah? You milk. Oh. oh no, the more you breathe. <laughs> it's, just, it's 
It's just stuck at the back of my throat. <laughs> It's got a couple of big games coming up on the weekend. I don't feel uh, a bit to play. <laughs> uh, is, is Mansfield away on uh, on Friday, Hector? Yeah. Reckon you'll get over this by then? I don't know. We'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think it'll be a good game. Oh, no, I think I need the milk. Oh, Hector, you're going for the milk? I don't know. I don't breathe. Know why, no. <laughs> no, I need it. Sweden has been the first one to go for the milk. Did you expect that, Hector? No. Nah. Can, oh. can we get some cups? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm alright now. How's it going? Nice, no, bad. <laughs> you got any ice cream? Do you have a cup? Yeah, we'll just go get a cup now. What level are we on? This is the last one. Oh, the more I breathe in, the hotter I get. Yeah. Keep your mouth shut and just. How's, how's training been this week out in the sun? Can you tell us, Swings? No, it's been good. Um, <laughs> uh, me, me, heck, Brian had a good little, good little day Bye, yesterday, really training yeah. between ourselves. Um, while the other boys rested up after a long week. Um, and today was fun. Um, some nice games, a good little session. So. It's just nice to have some good weather, to be honest. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it in my nose. <laughs> yeah, I was feeling it in my nose early doors, mate. Both gone out in the final round, and that's respectable. That's admirable. You did as well as you think you would. Yeah, you know. I, yeah, I done better than I expected. To be honest, I think it was all alright until the last one. <laughs> uh, hit me hard the last one. I won't be having it again. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Whoever eats that on a normal flat, regular is miles off them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's starting to it. starting to slow down now. No, it's still at the back of my throat. <laughs> still there, but no. No, all good. So we think you boys have done decent with it. We look to do it in, in future weeks. Is there anyone that you'd like to uh, nominate for the challenge? Friends, I'm doing <laughs> No, I'll say, I'll say, I think good punish will be Tunji and Kempi. Yeah. yeah. The West Ham boys. West Ham boys. Love to see they were here laughing at us, so yeah, hopefully I'd, next time I'd we'll love be laughing to see at them. Caps and Loz, wouldn't it? Do you, who, who do you reckon would be the worst dealing with it in the squad? Uh, Hector. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I think. I'm not backing Kempi. I think Kempi will struggle. Maybe. I think. What do we know about Bro? It's Bro could do as well. Yeah, Bro could struggle as well. I think the English boys could struggle. So who, who's your nomination? Who do you nominate for the next round? And who do you nominate? Oh, I'll nominate Tunji. Tunji and Jaden. Oh, yeah, I'll nominate Kempi. West Ham <sighs> Looks as though Tunji versus Kempi is the next one up on Hot O's. So uh, thank you for joining us, boys. Thank and you hope much. your mouths die down for thank the Easter no, really weekend. Uh, what the hell was that? I, I want to try that. Well. that. How many wings is that? How much are was that the last one? Oh, bro, I'm still feeling it. Was that the last one? Ten seconds later. Uh. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. Fire. Right, lads, I don't think I'm going to finish it. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's what we've got time for in this week's episode of E10 Extra. Thank you to Hector and Jaden for being such fantastic sports in hot O's. And thank you to Tunji Akinola for sitting down with us. And of course, thank you to you guys at home for watching. Don't forget, we've got two big games coming up over the bank holiday weekend. So make sure you don't miss out on Orient Live, presented by Auto Access. Up the O's.